All right, before we begin round seven, I wanted to give you a little bit of a hint about where some of these double crochets are going to be worked. For most of the double crochets, we're gonna be creating some chain spaces around and each corner is going to be our typical granny stitch chain three granny stitch corner. But we're gonna be creating um, a series of chain spaces all around so that for the next round, we can work some more double crochets into them. But what you'll find as you work through this round is that the double crochet that you're going to be working and then chaining after is going to end up in the middle stitch of each three. Middle stitch, middle stitch, middle stitch. It's a little bit different at the beginning and end of a side, but for the most part, your double crochets are going to be worked into the middle stitch of each group of three. So let's get started. So to do our very first double crochet, we're not in the correct stitch. We've ended up in the first of the three. We need to be in the second of three. So we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, and that's going to be our starting point. So we do a stacked single crochet in that stitch. chain one and then we're going to granny stitch chain three granny stitch in the corner Okay, so that finishes up the corner. Oops. All right, now we chain just one, and we skip just one stitch so that we can make that double crochet in the center stitch of the three below. But from this point across, we're going to chain three, skip two stitches, which puts us in the middle of the next group of three. Chain three, and we're skipping two, one, two, middle stitch. Chain three, skip, two, and these are the half double crochets, middle stitch, and it ends up being seven times that we do that to get across to the next corner. Skip two. There's the middle stitch, skip two. All right, so now we're at, we're just before the corner. We do another chain three. We skip two, put the last double crochet of the side here. But before the corner, we're only going to chain one. And then do another corner, which is granny stitch. And chain three, which is our corner space, and another granny stitch. All right. That completes one side and two corners, and this is what it looks like. It's a little wonky. Trust me, blocking will fix all of this, but you'll see that we have a chain one space after the corner. Chain three spaces, all of these double crochets end up lining up with their worked in the middle stitch of three. All of those. Chain one. 
even the first and last. And right before the corner, we have a chain one instead of a chain three. All right, I'm gonna finish the other sides and meet you back at the end. All right, we're back around to the beginning or we're finishing off round seven. So I need to do one more chain three space. Remember, we didn't start in a corner. We started at the in the middle of one of those stitches. So we have to finish a little bit differently than we normally would. All right, so I skip two stitches. I do my last double crochet. And I do one more chain three space. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that beginning double crochet right there. Okay. And there we have it. All right, so what you wanna do on this particular round, just to check to make sure that you have everything in the right place. Let me turn it this way so you can see. Make sure that you have chain three spaces in the right place and chain one spaces in the right place. So there are your chain ones at the beginning and end of each side and chain threes in between. And in each corner, we have a granny stitch, chain three, granny stitch, as you can see. And once again, we've got a little bit more squaring out. So this gets us a little bit beyond our circle even further. All right, so I'll meet you in round eight. Round eight to me is one of the easiest rounds that we're going to do because all we're go going to do is granny stitch in each chain space, even the chain ones. And in each corner, we're going to granny stitch, chain three, granny stitch. So let's get started. In order to be in the right place, again, we can't do our granny stitch in a space if we're sitting on top of a stitch. So we have to get into the right space. So we're gonna slip stitch into that chain one space. That puts us in the right location. A stacked single crochet followed by two double crochet gives us our first granny stitch. And that's all worked in that first space. We're not gonna put a chain one space or anything before we work the corner. All of them are consecutive and right next to each other. So all we do is work that granny stitch and chain three. And then granny stitch again in the corner space. And we've turned the corner. All right, now all we do is work a granny stitch in each space across to the next corner. So the next space we have is that chain one space. We're gonna work a granny stitch in it. And you may say, well, why is that space shorter than the other ones? Well, if we did a chain three there instead of a chain one, we would have a buckled space on each side of the corner. And we really don't want that. That granny stitch works equally well into a chain one or a chain three space. It just happens to be a little more spread out in a chain three space and that keeps us from having extra bulk right around the corners. So as you can see, so far, I've worked granny stitches in each of the spaces so far. We're gonna get ourselves over to the next corner
And you can see by the time we get to round eight, it takes us a little bit longer to get across to the other corner, but it doesn't take a long time to do this entire square, which is a great way to start your shawl. Because I just love the way this square is coming together. So this is the last granny stitch. This is the last granny stitch in the chain one space. All right, so you can see that we've worked a granny stitch in every space across, and now we're gonna do the corner. which again, you'll get used to this because we do it a lot. Granny stitch, a chain three corner space. And a granny stitch. All right, that gets us across the first side. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so there you go. Granny stitches in each one of those spaces, even the chain one, remember, and we do a granny stitch, chain three corner space, granny stitch in each of the corner spaces. So what you're gonna do is the same thing across each corner, uh, sorry, each side to the next corner, and I will meet you around at the start. All right, so I've made it around to the end of round eight, and I need to do my last granny stitch. And the last thing we do is we join with a slip stitch to the top of this stacked single crochet, which is right here. Perfect. Okay, that is it for round eight. So you'll see that we have a granny stitch in each space. I'll turn it this way so you can see it better. Each space, even the chain one on either end, and the granny stitch chain three, granny stitch in each corner, 